Kahua. Well, hello everybody, and welcome to a new chapter in our Dwarf Fortress life. This is Al, teaches Joe, Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode. I'm Joe. I'm Al. And uh, for those of you... Crazy. Maybe this might be a jumping on point for people. Maybe they haven't heard our 50 episodes of Adventure or of uh, Fortress Mode. True. But uh, we play, we've been in Dwarf Fortress for a while. Joe is normally the uh, Fortress guy, and I kind of got interested in Adventure Mode after playing Fortress Mode for a while. And so, I've played Adventure Mode maybe twice, and all I did was run around lost. That there, that's something that happens. Um, okay, so no. <laughs> there, I, there's ways to get better at that, though. And uh, what I'm going to start with is actually something that's not going to be on the screen here for me. But I always have a second screen open where I uh, have open the Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode uh, quick reference. Not the quick um, Dagnab, I can't spell Fortress. I'm trying to do it on my phone. What's happening? I'm going to do it with the microphone, Joe. Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode quick reference. I don't know what else is doing. I'm opening up the quick reference. And this what, has, is the quick, what is the quick reference? How we're going to get there once it opens. <laughs> so then how was I supposed to know what you were doing? Quick reference is uh, once you sort of have a, a little bit of a handle on there, uh, it gives you your keystrokes for things if you've forgotten. Uh, um, uh, it has obvious things like moving around, but it's also like how to move down a, a ramp or, um, you know, how to open your combat profile and stuff. Now I know a lot of those, sometimes I forget, and so if you're a rookie and you're learning, I, it's really helpful to have that started. And we're gonna start playing, Joe. Awesome. Oh, I got back on the, the day when window. <laughs> all games would have like a cardboard sheet with the key key, key bindings. Yeah, yeah. This or is, at least it was extremely common. This is basically what 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 uh, the quick reference is. Yeah. Now it's now it's on the interwebs. Also for anyone jumping on now, we are actually Al is going to start his first adventure in the world we played in Fortress Mode. Um, so we're not quite up to date with updates, and we're hoping to find the fort we were playing before. And this is a giant world, as you can tell by the very slow updating of the world that's happening here. It actually here. looks pretty normal to me, to be honest. You're just used to Pocket. I put, not, well, I, I've updated from Pocket to small, because Pocket oh, seemed a little small that. to me. Okay. But, uh... It's it's definitely uh, well, this this is the, the, for... the game and this happens in both the modes where it sort mm -hmm. of updates your history each time you pop in to sort of let events progress and it figures out well did was there a goblin invasion on this day what happened on that invasion and everything and here we so are now, creating our first character. It's weird to think that during that time, who teached our previous fort was I actually had to you me? did not retire the fortress, Joe. I had to I had oh. to go in there when I say it was like it wasn't available for adventure mode. So in the setup yes. to this, I had to create I you know, I had to tell it like, okay, we can we can drop the fort now. I didn't I didn't retire let it to ruin, I just let it run on its own. Gotcha. So we can be all of these characters. There's okay. Eagle Mans, Elf Mans. Obviously oh, a lot of elf. questions here. Yes. Are all of the man versions human-ish sized? Is the hamster man tiny? I no. I'll start there. I, okay. not, that I ha not that I am able to tell. Is there any way to tell what attributes sort of carry over? Like, what the hell is a hamster man? <laughs> uh, he's just going to be covered in hair uh, for a hamster man, and he might have, like, some really uh, sharp teeth. That's, okay. So, uh, somebody mentioned to me that there was a... Uh, what is the one that was good at biting... Um, I want to say some kind of a lizard, like a monitor oh. lizard. So let's go to intelligent wilderness creature here. Get out. Um, well, why are these different? Why aren't these on the other list? I, I mean, don't know. Is a hamster man that different? Okay. I, I I can't tell you that. Actually, I might know. That might be those might be the ones that actually are in the world and they have their own society, possibly to some degree. Um, and these would be a complete new jumping off point for this species. Right. So uh, I've been told that monitor lizard man, for instance, because monitor lizards are really great at biting things. Uh, can do some real damage with their bite, which is an option you have when you're fighting. Um, not the peach face lovebird man? Not the peach face lovebird man, although he will be able okay. to fly. Oh, yeah. Which is pretty legit. Um, I don't know, like, for instance, Flying Squirrel Man. <laughs> he was a bush tit man. Yep. <laughs> if you become a spider person, you have six legs or arms that can wield weapons, and you walk on your two back legs. Because you need two of them, check. Right. Uh, small shout out for Al's live stream every. Uh, Friday at 
noon Eastern? I, I think that's the time that it is on for you. It's 11 Central. That's when I... Uh, I'll run our Twitch channel at Human Echoes. Um, so we have all these options. Uh, let's stick with the basics. Uh, I was going to say, is there a huge... Like, what's the plus and minus for animals versus just humans or dwarves? Or Well, if you become a human, you have more options for uh, weapons that you okay. can wield. Um, and then you have your status. And uh, over here on the right, you see Peasant, Hero, Demigod. That mean that is about how many points you get. Uh, mm -hmm. I've never not started on demigod because and you still wind up losing to cats. Yes. So apparently, the game is hard enough. It's pretty no hard. Reason in the beginning to, to nerf yourself at peasant. So if we move on to this next screen. You hit enter to be okay with all that. Um, um real quick. So when you said just stick with the basics, you meant start as a human. Yes. Okay. I thought you said start as a human, and I said yes. Ah, uh, okay. Did we not? Was that not fully established? That was part of my. I think it was part of a question. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, and now then it's established. Here are all now the places that's really been established that I can start at. Um, we have the Confederacy of Balding, the Patterned Empires, the Ripe Union, the Waning Kingdom. <laughs> Confederacy of Balding. <laughs> um, some of these are. Uh, sometimes you'll you can start as a human in a dwarvish place. I mm -hmm. think. Um, that's not great. Even starting as a dwarf in a dwarvish place sometimes means that you just have like an extensive underground tunnels and you can never get out into the overworld, which yep. as a real dwarf might make you very happy, but as a player of this game just is annoying. That was my experience. That sounds very, very familiar. Um, we're going to start, you know, let's just start up at the top because I have no idea what any of these are. Sometimes you start in a place that's like, well, this place sucks. And then you, as you go back <laughs> into the world, you learn not to go to that place. Well, this is a bunch of middle-aged guys with comb-overs. We're going to start at the Confederacy of Baldy. Desperately trying to recapture their lost youth. Now we have our... We get to create our character. Um, okay. There are all these tons and tons of different attributes you can give them. I love this. On the left side here, you have your sort of core elements. Uh, for instance, strength, uh, agility. All these things are going to carry over into on the right where you have for more specific abilities. And the reason I picked human is because uh, no other species has as many weapon options. Check. Uh, so I think humans might be the only people who can be lashers. Um, there, you know, there, there's different ones that you can be as different species, but humans have access to all of them. Um, I'm actually going to start off with one that I only recently started putting on. I didn't understand this until uh, I was doing a little reading. I'm going to put us up to a high social awareness. And that means and because people know who we are. Huh, okay. I, when we start off the game, you can ask people to join you on your quests. And obviously it helps to have uh, some sidekicks and people mm -hmm. to take uh, the blows and help you give blows to your enemies. And if you put a higher social awareness, you can get more. You only start out with a, with a regular, with an average social awareness. Only two people will follow you. And after that, they'll be like, uh, you got too many people. We don't need, <laughs> uh, and people won't want to follow you around. Can you boost that doing deeds in game? Yes, you can. Okay. Although I'm not, that's one of the things that I'm still Again. learning about. I've read a little bit about it, but I'm not fully. Your, your deeds of cat punching have been carried through the land? Yes. Um, <laughs> obviously, I, I like to put strength in there, pretty high strength, um, Agility, I like to add because uh, usually I'm not great at fighting, so I have dodging on, and agility seems like it'd be good for dodging. Uh, toughness means how well you're going to take damage, and then endurance and recuperation are both sort of what they sound like. Endurance means um, you know how long you can fight, and we want to make sure we have some willpower. I'm going to go high willpower because that hmm. keeps you uh like sometimes you'll get tired and you need to keep fighting and uh if you don't have high willpower it'll just sort of like Ugh, fall over or if your guy gets injured it'll just sort of stop having the will to fight if you don't have good willpower these are sort of i guess i i change these up i don't always have exactly these stats uh sometimes i'll have higher strength or higher agility or whatever oh, um, you can go higher than 12. yeah what's the highest you can go uh so let's pull off here and uh just see below average willpower uh, oh, I can't go higher than 20 on that. Oh, what is wrong here? Can I not go higher than 20? Maybe I can't. I don't... No, there's gotta be... Knock one of them, knock two of them down to one and see what... I don't know. Oh yeah, okay, superior strength. So, that appears to be the highest. Yes, that's... Once it goes down to zero, it's like, okay. You don't, you don't got any more. Also worth pointing out, some of these 
really cool sounding skills aren't actually implemented yet, from what I remember. Kinesthetic sense isn't. I think uh, a thing. Um, that has to do with throwing. If you want to be a thrower. Okay. Oh, and I guess linguistic ability is starting to come around because they've added singing and art and stuff. Yes. But some of them... I don't like, know what still... creativity does. Like, I haven't messed around with that. So if uh, we are always open to comments and people sort of yes. filling us in. But uh, now we move on to what kind of weapon we want to have. Whatever uh, skill points we put in is the kind of weapon we'll start with. So okay. if I become a hammer man, I'm not going to start with a sword it, uh, or vice versa. Although... If you start as a swordsman, sometimes you start with, like, a wood sword, and that's annoying. <laughs> what kind of... You, you, I'll let you be a little bit in charge here, Joe. What kind of what kind of weapon do you want to start with? I mean, we kept talking about lashers. Lashers are pretty cool. They're very uh, precision-based, so we're gonna, we're gonna become a competent lasher. I like how it's not... The uh, default is not... Fun. <laughs> Not X Men. Well, not if you leave it as not, you literally you have no skills as mm -hmm. that, and I think yeah, it's just a funny uh, nomenclature. You can't uh, come up with them, and then you want to be uh, whatever you pick. You want to be a good fighter as well, because if you're not a good fighter, even if you're good with the lash, somehow that doesn't carry over. Um, you want to have some swimming swimming ability. Yes, that is one thing I even learned. Um, are you gonna? I'm gonna put adequate ambusher because that helps good. you sneak around. Ambusher with a whip. FYI, lasher means you use a whip. I'm not sure if we actually... I, I thought that was evident, but yes. Um, I wasn't aware of the term lasher until we had uh, Corilla Deville in our... For... Now, I'm because I'm bad at fighting, um, I'm You're putting some points dodging. into dodging and armor use and stuff like that. Um, I'll also give a little bit to wrestling. Miscellaneous object user will give me some abilities. Uh, if I lose my lash, I can start hitting people with a shield. Or bar stools. You want to... I put a little bit into butcher so we can get hmm. meats. Ah, I think honestly, I'm not sure. I, I think I've played games where I didn't put any ability into butcher, and then it still it worked out for me. Like I could still butcher meat, but I don't. Well, want you to can still do everything. You're just way bad at it. And to get those early points, at least from Fort, I mean, from what I've gathered from adventure mode, uh, and from what I've learned from fortress mode, the early points are really hard to sort of get that first. You might try and butcher a bunch of bunnies and just not get anything from them. <laughs> get a point in butcher and start to turn a corner. Well, and the reading thing, I'm going to put in a reader because there is a way to... Uh, uh, one of the things that you can discover is um, like a lair that'll have some books in it that you can read to turn yourself into a, a, a vampire or some kind of a night person. If they have the secrets of life and death in them, you if can become a necromancer. Thank yes. you too. I believe that was <laughs> Well Hung Horse in the comments. Thank you, Well Hung Horse. Uh... I'm gonna... Ooh, I think I'll bump up Fighter. I will increase... No. I wish I could become an is Artful this... Dodger. Go ahead. I can probably resist that. I can't see if this can scroll. Is this the entirety of the list, or is there more below? There or... is more below, uh, a little bit, but it's not... These are all things that have to do with um, interacting with people, with arguing, and apparently arguing doesn't have much benefit in the game yet you can't argue somebody out of fighting with you right no, as they far as i can stuff tell that's supposed to be coming that would be great I, I i would love to have a guy that you can just dump all the charisma stats into and you just Not like napper yes i don't know what a napper is i think it has to do with i don't know what it has to do with i'm, gonna, I'm no, just gonna... i am here let me do my first bit of research I'm gonna bump up my lashing abilities here i will take dodger up okay so and the game will auto dodge for you you can set that when you get in there i'm gonna go ahead and not pick napper but i will continue to listen as joe researches you can start sharpen small rocks for use as crude weapons and butchering tools oh interesting that might actually be, be helpful maybe we'll do that next time because we will die I want to make. <laughs> I'm going through this very slowly, uh, so that you guys catch this. But going forward, we uh, it, I, there will be many deaths, and uh, we, I, I might not t spend as much care explaining as what I'm doing every time. Yes, you are a newly minted hearth person. <laughs> Great, <sighs> you're newly minted. Queet sweetness shell in dress. Sweetness dress shell. Dress dashes. A human Her hamlet. Name is L Lurshy Pumpkin Rinsed. We didn't. We didn't change that, huh? Uh, I can change my name. Oh, okay. What would you want? What do you want the name to be? I don't know. We haven't actually picked anything yet. I can. Uh, just I can pick a name, here, Joe. Pumpkinhead. Pumpkinhead. Pumpkin rinsed. 
<laughs> yes, that's even better. Ah, can't spell pumpkin. Pumpkin's a little tricky. I'm not gonna lie. Pumpkin, pumpkin. head moon is shown. <laughs> I'm a casual worshiper of Olo, the god of mountains and earth. And I am a female. Huh. If I want to become a man, you hit G. The upward pointing arrow is the penis. And the plus sign <laughs> is the vagina. I've never... Never mind. We've covered this. We've covered it. I keep saying the plus sign is the vagina, and I hope that it becomes a meme. Um, I might, it has I become a meme for me. wouldn't be able to remember it. I've never been able to... That's what we just I will become okay. a pumpkin head lady because that's not something I've ever seen before. Check. Well, the we're actually just a human. Yes. Uh, we can change our background to locally important or peasant. And I haven't messed with that. Usually I just stay locally important. Sounds good to me. Her hair is extremely long. Her green eyes are close set. He has she, she has high cheekbones. Her teeth are gapped. Her short ears are extremely narrow. Her head is somewhat short. Her hair is mahogany. Her skin is pale taupe. By the way, in all of my playtimes that ever, mm -hmm. I've ever played Dwarf Fortress, human hair is always extremely long. Okay. You cannot find a dude that has a haircut or a woman. Everybody's hair is long. Sounds pretty accurate. So what? I don't people know, had people knives? getting tons of haircuts back then? You could, like, having long flowing hair is not good for fighting. Somebody will grab that and throw you on the ground. She dreams of creating a great work of art. Yes. She personally respects the law, sees competition as reasonably reasonably important, and values nature. So I guess I, we should also say, if you, this is your jumping on point entirely to Dwarf Fortress, this is the sort of stuff that the procedurally generated world will do. Um, you get this sort of awesome, crazy babble-ish descriptions of things. Every, every dwarf in a fortress mode gets this. Uh, you get this wall of text of just who they are and what they do, but because it's procedurally generated very well, I should add, but it's still like... I don't even know. It's just these weird lists of things. Well, I, I will point out also at the bottom here, you have the light, the darker gray text. That is um, all humans. Okay. So it's describing, it's like, it starts with like others in her culture, meaning that those, those things will not change from human ah, to human. Um, right. The white text is sort of, it's still re random to her, but it's she less. She often essential. feels lustful. Yep. She occasionally overindulges and she is troubled by this because she values self-control. I love those bits where they're like, I really love stealing, but I feel like morality is important. I'm conflicted. <laughs> <laughs> that happens quite a bit. And the game, reali like the game realizes when those conflicts happen and they pu it puts it in there like, uh, yeah, they, they understand this is, doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> What's okay. So this is more of a present status below this list of things. Yeah. So she has a moderate need to drink alcohol. She has a moderate okay. need to eat a good meal and she has a moderate need to admire art. Is that randomized? Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, it is. So sometimes you'll have like a, a like a strong need to. Where, where are they at? They don't even have like the 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 bad ones. Like the, sometimes there's oh yeah like a, a strong need to cause trouble or to to be in oh. a fight or I'm not seeing all of those uh, in here. There's fight. Okay. I have to say this uh, long haired boozy lustful art admi admirer is she's single. Yeah. Did she want my number? Um, I, I, well, she's not real, Joe. Oh, right. Now, I'm going to try this. This doesn't <laughs> usually work for me, but there is the G change goal, dream goal if possible, and it's mm -hmm. not available. I don't know why, right. when it's possible or not, it, I, it's not entirely clear to me, but. What uh, is F? Full customization. I think that means that you could go in and, uh, say, okay, how much does she care about Whoa! certain things? Oh! Okay, that's uh, that's very granular. Again, I, I'm also, not going to do that right now. Yes, that sounds good. If you are new to Dwarf Fortress, you can almost always dig down into things like this and find even more stuff you can toy with. I don't think it'll help us, you know, not die, which is going to happen. Let's, let's see. All right, let's let's do this. Let's go. Have to wait a minute while it loads us up. Loads the world. Dwarf Fortress is a massive game. You finally got your equipment together such as it is. Now it's time for action and adventure. In the rush of excitement, you've forgotten where you're going to go. Perhaps some of your friends here can remind you. Uh, press. Yes, that won't actually help. Um, so to start off with here, this is sort of a really basic thing, but it's something that I have only come to recently. And that is if you have a keyboard with a number pad, you should have your right hand on the number pad because it's so much easier. You have your plus and minus sign, which is used a lot for different menus. You have page up and page down. 
you have the slash and the star or the asterisk and those are used to navigate several menus and then you have enter and also your arrow keys all that stuff um really makes makes yes. it a lot it easier to navigate the, the game in mind it did not even occur to me for many a long year that al didn't default to using the number pad so that was a yes and especially in adventure mode like i don't think in dwarf uh in fortress mode it's as essential it's pretty helpful but it's still no, helpful. navigating the menus makes way more sense the lord quicep that guy says hello pumpkin head long live the cause it's a lord hello yeah, why is he one um i don't know why okay um usually if someone uh, talks to you you can go that you hit the, the letter k as i just have and it okay. pulls up this menu here um you can start a conversation uh that's a plus sign oh, upper around that. okay um and i'm gonna go to start a conversation so it gives you an x and uh, pre let's pretend there's somebody else in this room you could move the x over them and if they're in they're within sight you can speak to them <laughs> shout out to everybody is that like Shout out to everybody! Or is that literally yelling out words to things? Okay, you're actually shouting things to everybody. Yes. Um, I don't know why. I don't know. I've, I've never had a port where that was beneficial. I, I guess if you were going to ask for a cease to hostilities and there's a lot of people fighting. I don't know. Maybe you just want to play a person who just runs around screaming things to everyone, too. He says, traveling alone in the wilds, you know better than that. Let's have it. <laughs> Continue. We're freshly minted. <laughs> we are. Uh, let's bypass the greeting. I have never been at a part, point where that like mattered, like where they were like, greeting. "You didn't greet me." <laughs> uh, you probably toggle some some stat on their personality towards you or something. Possibly, uh, but, but again, I've never stayed li live long enough for that to matter. <laughs> uh, so this is how we find out about the goings on in the area. You, you inquire about any troubles. And he says, well, let's see. We've got armies on the march, beasts, criminals, bandits, skulking vermin, and bone-chilling horror. Sounds about right. Uh, which is a lot of things. Usually there's mm -hmm. like three things. Oh, really? I thought that was just like a default. Okay. No, no. It, it, it different matters. So you'll have your ongoing. By the way, I, again, you have to hit K every time you want to bring up this menu, which is a little bit annoying. I wish there was a sort of, I want to keep conversing until I want to stop option. But I, if that exists, I have not found it. So you can ask about any of these things. You can ask about the armies on the march, the beasts, the criminals, the bandits, the skulking vermin, or the bone chilling horror, or, or you can go back to the main menu by clicking change the subject. What do you want to find out about, Joe? The, I think the vermin seems, if it's actual vermin. That seems like it would be uh, something in our something, house, something we could defeat, yes. Yes. Our people have been pestered by skulking villains. They have a band called that. <laughs> and we're in the admired forest. Blo -co 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 play lim in the uh, admired forest. And then well, that, okay, I was hoping I sort of felt that he was speaking colloquially, but I was hoping it was just a bunch of bugs somewhere we could step on. <laughs> well, I don't know if we get. Bu well, there might be some mayflies and stuff. Uh, so that next, the most, the next valuable thing we can do is to ask for directions. You can tell them your opinion, but again, I don't. It was inevitable. Yes. That's a meme that you'll see a lot. And <laughs> um. It is, that is far to the north, and we received a detailed description, so now we know where that is. Okay, so that's gets stored, more or less? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I'll show you how to get there in a minute, but first, I'm gonna mm -hmm. go and try to recruit some peeps. Well, actually, that guy will not go with me, by the way. I could, I meant to ask him to show you, but because he's a lord, he, okay. he will not help you. I sort of actually was gonna ask that, but it's good to, good to know. Greet. Be bypass uh, the greeting, bypass and greeting. go immediately to, hey, come with me. Because Where did it go? There it is. Join me. You want to make sure you join me on adventures. Because uh, otherwise I'll just walk around with you. But <laughs> you won't fight back if you get attacked? I don't think so. Then they'll run away. <laughs> I will agree to... <laughs> glory. That's, that is standard every time. They're just like... I don't death. think we can think we can handle that, right? I Yes. Is he with you? He is. He'll, he'll follow me in a minute. There okay. he is. Looking for some other guys. Here, these little know exclamation points. Yes. Uh, it kind of lets you know, like, hey, there's some people over here. You can, I think it's sort of like sounds that you can hear. Okay. We're gonna ask him to come with us. Join me on adventures. Nope, not to. There you go. And he'll lead, he'll go with us, and then we're gonna talk to this guy. So how yeah. are you navigating these menus? Uh, with the arrow that. keys. Oh no, I'm sorry. This menu, I, I one of these things eventually becomes second nature. Yes. Um, but for newcomers. But it's the plus and minus keys. For the uh, for the up and down through the the menus and then enter. 
to select something, which mm-hmm. I think that part should be obvious. Yes. And then I'm going to ask him to go with us. So I'm hitting the plus. Again, if you're looking on your number pad, uh, the minus is above the plus, so plus is down. Mm-hmm. And he will agree to go with me. I lead Woo! him to glory and death. Now, now we uh, get some loot. Now we All walk right. over uh, one of these. This is a bag. Um, now yes. I'm using a tile set here that sort of gives me what things look like. If you're playing in the ASCII mode, I don't know what everything looks like, so that might this might not be as helpful to you. I'm using the lazy noob pack, uh, which sort of makes poor fortress look prettier and adds some functionality. But I'm going to hit G, and that shows me a list of all the stuff that I'm standing on top of. Now, to navigate this menu, um, actually, there's not a page down here, but if there were more items here, you would have a, the slash up above the number pad and then the uh, asterisk. Okay. So we are going to grab... It's very common also in Dwarf Fortress for yes. different menus to have different... It's just a thing to get used to. We're going to grab these high boots. So Yeah, we are. Get the uh, Get the high boot... Just point out this is A, B, C, D. Yes. Uh, and because my options. screen has a little red border on it, you can't hardly see the B. And Just here's note. some greaves. I don't know what I'll be able to wear here, but I'll show you how to find that in a little bit. So, uh, Do now you know the, if a flail is good for you? I have a flail already. Yes, is that what you use as a lasher? Yes. Oh, sorry, because you start with a weapon. You got it to check. So I hit. I just hit I. This is my inventory. Um, up at the top, you have what is in your left and right hand. Uh, you have your bronze whip and your iron shield. Yes. Um, then you have everything that you're wearing. So I have a... I don't know what a brayus <laughs> is, but that's on my lower body. I have a whale leather skirt. <laughs> it's a sperm whale leather skirt. <sighs> I have a, a turban, uh, gloves on. Wool is not great. Uh, you want to look for at least leather, and bronze is great is better for all these things. And down at the bottom, in the green, are things that are in my backpack. My linen backpack. Oh, I see. The backpack. And then the water is in your water skin. Yes, uh, which we will get to how to use that in a minute. Um, we want to wear some of these things we've just picked up. I'm going to try this by hitting W. It'll only let me wear the copper greaves. That is probably because I'm already wearing shoes. So I'm going to go hit R and then remove hmm. my shoes, which are some hard times difficult to find. There's an I and a J. J. Now I'll hit W, and you'll nice. see that I'm holding those sand. I want to drop those, by the way, once, because otherwise uh, you can have stuff sort of pile up in your left and right hand. And then when you <laughs> strap, you'll, there's an option to strap your weapons to your body uh, to show that you're non, not hostile. Mm-hmm. And that kind of, that makes some problems. <laughs> We're going to put on our uh, WA and WA again. Now we're wearing those high boots. So our legs are protected. Uh, and then you hit D to drop those other things that are in our other hands. So G, D, uh, G again. And now you see those are, are, I think that's what that's it, that is on the floor. Let's look at them. To look at something, you hit L. L. And then you move over it. And we see Kanar, who's our guy who's following us, and two llama wood sandals. Llama wool sandals. Nice. Shows up his little pile of clothes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Are you sort of familiar with the fort? Okay, well, first off, what's going on in the upper right? What upper right? Oh, that's up. That's above and below you. So uh, that's okay. Um, one Z level above me is the top one, and one Z level below. If you're on the ground and there's not something below you, I believe it'll show you two Z levels above you. Um, and because we are assuming that people will be jumping in with this, um, you're moving up and down with the shift, and then the left uh, weird pointy bracket thing. What do you call that? The shift comma. I think. Yes. Shift, shift comma, comma goes up, and then shift period goes down, uh, just like it does in if you if you're familiar with fortress mode. That's how you get around there. Here's some more bags we can get stuff from. Um, there's an iron morning star. We don't need that. Now here it says uh, the shift or the slash in the start of you other pages. So we'll bruise down. There's a toy boat. We don't need that. <gasps> can get toy s- boat. Toy boat. Toy boat. An iron kaku. We got. <laughs> We got the what is that? gauntlets. What is a Kaku? I don't know. Iron Kaku. I don't know. That's all that's in there, though. I don't need any of those things. I don't think. If you want to look up, up Kaku. Okay. I'm gonna continue looking in here. Again, we're looking for things that are either leather or <laughs> bronze. Uh, that's probably an instrument. Okay. 
Instrument names are procedurally generated with the world, so you're not going to find them in the wiki. Because they change all the time. Got a copper helm, which I will hope to wear in a minute. Um, and there so you're just, just running around this whatever we're in, just grabbing people's things. I am grabbing people's things. And it will, uh, when you try to fast travel right outside the door, it'll be like, oh, uh, you got some stuff. But I'll show you that in a little bit. Getting stuff. Getting stuff. Um, and th when you come back, it's interesting. Like, they've re they refill. So... I'm just looking for hmm. things that will help me uh, not die. Mm -hmm. Yes, generally armor. Yeah, armor. I've got... There's some gauntlets there. There's a male shirt. I'll try to get one of those. Again, I, I have to. you have to remember to wear all these things once you have them, and a lot of times it'll be... Uh, you have to remove the other stuff that you are wearing. It's an iron whip. What kind of whip do I have currently? I have a bronze whip. Iron's better than bronze, right? Yep. I'm going to get that. Um, actually, you know what? Dwarf Fortress is so granular that... Depending on what type of weapon it is, uh, it you know the, the material, best material changes. There's an iron buckler. I don't have one of those. By the way, if you see it listed as a large or small, I think generally that means that it's too big or too small for you. Okay. Um, and you will not be able to wear it. Uh, so sometimes you'll spawn as a goblin in a human fort, and goblins are smaller than humans, and they cannot wear their clothes. We'll get to that later. There's a sandal. I don't <laughs> care about that. Bucklers. Iron pick. I'm not going to be doing any mining. I would normally go much faster than this. Let's get that breastplate. But uh, obviously I want to... I'm, I'm doing my best to show and explain what I'm doing as I'm going. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that's uh, doing well. I don't know if there's a way to get this, get some of this stuff and give it to your compatriots. I was just about to ask that. I have not, I have not done that. Here's a wood crutch. <gasps> okay, I'm going to get one of those because that'll put our crutch level way up if we uh, get wounded. That's something that's a little hack that I've not actually been able to implement yet because I never found a crutch in a box. <laughs> if you just you use just the crutch without the crutch. being injured, you gain crutch walking skill. Yes. So if you ever happen to get injured, I think I could use that leather hood because that'll go over my helm, I hope. Um, you can layer stuff as much as you can. Wool, brazes, reed, reed. That's not interesting. There's a silver mall. That's really not interesting. Trousers I can probably use. Um, I'm about to strip naked in front of my guys, by the way. I'm looking up. They're going to be like, to look what? Up the, uh, if you can possibly hand stuff around. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, I don't care about the cat's eye. Okay. Now I'm going to remove a lot of my stuff. Remove the braze, remove the skirt, remove... Uh, we know this. Uh, I guess I'll keep the coat on. I'm going to remove the turban. I don't have other gloves, I don't think. I have gauntlets. Do gauntlets go over gloves? Do you know? They can. Okay, well, I'll leave the gloves on then. Um, I have socks. Those are fine. Okay. Well, let's see what we can wear. We want to wear these gauntlets. Wear the helm. Uh, Whoa. Yeah, companions. That's what I wanted. I'm gonna seize to view the companion interface. Oh, I hit E. Sorry. <laughs> wear the shirt. Um, wear that leather hood, and then I'm gonna wear those trousers. All right, now I'm all covered up, which I think will help me survive. Now, where shall we go, Joe? I don't know. Uh, how do you know where you're going inside of this fort, even? Oh, uh, this isn't too bad. Um, you just kind of like I, I've. This is not a real complex fort, so we go down here. That's a hatch. Uh, mm -hmm. ah. How do you go down? Uh, with the shift period. Oh, you... Okay, I thought that was your view. And then okay, there's check. another shift period there. And then we are, I believe, right here where we started. Or, okay. Nope. But how do you get out? <laughs> That's always where I ran into problems. Well, this is not... Actually, I feel like I've lost my way a little bit here. We will get out. If we might have to edit Pumpkin some stuff. Head, cone. Oh, here's another uh, down, so we might not be at the lowest. Oh, will they not dig underground? I don't know. Oh, I, I do not like know said... for certain, Joe. But now I am sure. lost, and I'm freaked out. That's not good. <laughs> well, that was where you started. That much I can... Wait. No, oh. I started in a door with, that I could exit. Like, you always start, uh, as a human, you always start in a room that you can get out of. Oh, that's good to know. Um, in the, um, in the forts that I've played. <laughs> it's good to know that I've jinxed that. I just went uh, looking around too far. 
I flew too close to the sun, Joe. I stole too many clothes. Did you go up these stairs? This seems like where you would... And then up again, maybe? Yep, I don't know. Could be. We're lost. It's okay. It's okay. We'll find our way out. This is restarted. Is it? No, it's not. Because uh, the Lord isn't there. Oh, you're right. He wouldn't move, though? He won't. Not unless I, like, start attacking him. He doesn't generally just right. go somewhere. And yes, this is a problem, by the way. Uh, in the game, you will occasionally get lost in places. Usually not this quickly. I got... <laughs> my, I used the part of my brain where I would normally figure out where I am to uh, explain things. So, uh, this is really on all of y'all. What are these purple blobs? Which purple blobs? Those so we'll are past uh, the wall. places where, where we have been, our tracks, as it were. What? Really? Yeah. Why are they all so scattered all over the place? Because we've been there. It's a sign, as it were. Interesting. So you leave uh, tracks and things. That one, that was... All right. We've been, been here. I know we have. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Joe. It's got to be down here. We've been here before, too. What about that up track? There it is. Ah! See, we started in this room. And that guy's still here. As I said. Hello. We can go out the door. Oh, that's just... A, okay. Yeah, this is just... And see how... It ha so, you can't see him, but when you're out of there, you can see, like, okay, there's sound in there. There's probably a dude, at least, in there. Cool. So, here we are, out in the world, walking around. Wow. Walking around. Now, this interface is always a little tricky for us, the Z-levels and stuff. So, yeah, we're going up and down these little... Uh, what we're at, what you're looking at here with the dots to the right, That is that means that there's land below us and then to the left where the black is that's above us and then these little triangles are ramps it means you can move up and down it's technically a wall to your left as a in fortress mode you could just dig in there but yes um, can you do that in adventure mode i uh, i don't know yet i've not i have not experimented with digging so there is fog of war yes uh so if you can't see it like if your character is not within line of sight or if there's not like very much the trees yeah the Yes, so for instance, I'll go up to this tree and there's less like, visibility oh. there. Now here's something that I'm going to do. Um, All right. And as Joe has mentioned in the past, talking and doing makes you a little bit dumber. But, yes. okay, first of all, uh, you can see on the, on the lower part of the screen, Joe, kind of towards the right, where that brown words is, it says on ground. Yes. That means I'm laying, I'm crawling around. Okay. Uh, have you always, how long have you been crawling around? For this whole time, I believe. Okay. Uh, I'm going to hit S. And that stands up. Excellent. That means I'm going faster. Now I'm going to hit Shift S, and it tells me, asks me how quickly I want to move. Hmm. I'm actually going to stroll uh, because moving more slowly uh, uses less water and food and whatnot. And I am going to sneak because hmm. just as a practice thing, there's no reason not to sneak. Um, and then I'm going to go into this is our overworld. Now I got here by hitting Shift T. This shift is our fast T. travel. Now, you don't get out of here by sh hitting shift T. You hit out of here by hitting D for stop, as you can see. Um, and there is the S. Oh, I did have sneak on. Okay, when S is purple, so that means we're sneaking. Um, there are other things that... Um, I don't know what clouds do. I don't, I, I don't know exactly how that helps you. If you. But if you go to Q, do you remember the name of the place where we were uh, looking for the guys at? Loco, 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 loco. Uh, if I saw it, I might okay. know it. Offhand, no. Is there a search? Yes, there is. Uh, there's F for filter. Ah. And you can say red. Right? And that it'll it'll narrow it down. I don't remember what it was, though. Um, but he, these are all the events. And ah. let's just start up this one. Uh, there's the Invasion of the Waywards Fellowship. And we have a Z for restart on selection. Now, you'll see I go down here where it says the invasion of the Coalition of Boars. Uh, the Z is not, it's grayed out. It's not available. But here, okay. you can find out where that's at. And it tells Yay. us, oh, it's way up there in the north. That's pretty far. Now, what? Okay, so the key to the, the, this map key is actually zoomed out further. tile set. This is tile set. Okay. It is a tile set. It's zoomed out even further than our fast travel map. So depending on your tile set, this will change. However, that green blinking line is... That's our path that we need to take. We need, we and the need O to is go the destination? North. That's correct. Okay. Um, let's see if there's any else, anything else we can find that's closer to us. That's way far away. Can we look up what, our, what the thing we asked about was? Also, how are you, tell, how are you telling how far away it is? 
Because we're not on the screen. Oh, okay. Like, the, the green line goes down past where we are. It's a giant world. I mean, this world is huge, and I don't. looks like I don't know where... Any, oh, there's something I know where it is. That's right next to that. Okay. <laughs> Everything's up north, it looks like. We might have now, to just this travel mean, to the north. Lore, there's just people that we're looking for, maybe? That we know where they are, These I are guess? events. So, for instance, there's... Uh, well, the now, Lord... Lady... How's a lord an event? Um, invasion of the... A mighty uh, fellowship, stern okay. lady. I see. It's reading over. Wait, no. Actually, no, it isn't. Is it? No, I don't even know. No. <laughs> Maybe somebody became a lord? Twig clearing. I don't. Yeah, okay. It looks like there's a lot to the north. Um, it does look like there's a lot to the north. Let's see if we have, know where any beasts are. <laughs> where is that drone ant? <laughs> I've been tracking it. Do we know? We know where that one is. It's right there by us. Yes, yes. Let's go get the drone Let's go ant. Kill an ant. Okay, so this this map doesn't stay up. You kind of just have to sort of look at where you're at and get a, a decent idea on your bearings. But Direct. we're in here, and we can go this way. Or here's water. You don't, you can't pass pass through water. No. And I'll I pop that cube map open pretty frequently to see like, am I getting close? Uh, oh, is there a way to talk to? I want to go to beasts. I forgot to go to beasts. Joseph, yes. you let me forget to go to beasts. So as I say, is there a way to like flag the drone ant? <laughs> We're gonna get that drone ant. <laughs> What's toggle line do? Toggle line? Oh, let's see. It uh, just tells you uh, where you're sense. at. No, the green the green line toggles on and off. Yeah, yep. that's what I meant. That's <laughs> close to what you said. What quick. happened? Uh, we zoomed out more because we got away from civilization. So something that happens is we got here. We got yeah. closer to our hamlet where we started. So right. those little doors, these are kind of, uh, well, they, they, these are roads and whatnot. Uh, and when we okay. get into towns, this brown spot, like we can't walk through this brown square. We have to go down here. And then it shows up on the right there. You see, it says there's a house. So we, there's houses. There's more right there. Uh, and then we can travel through that area here. Once you get away from civilization far enough, when there's not any kinds of uh... whoa, oh whoa 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 whoa, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't. Oh, I think I turned number lock off somehow. <laughs> What's going on? Oh boy. Uh, well, it got it got dark, <laughs> which I was not prepared for. Um, What's that? Is the O on this map now for the drone hand? What's the O in the upper left? The top. That is the us. moon. Uh, uh, passing through the... Something is going wrong with my com my keyboard. It's fascinating. I keep going over and... I'm going to hit stop and see what happens. Okay. So it, uh, it offloads. takes a minute to offload the map. Why am I... Ah! Albert's key is stuck. I uh, Yeah, I don't... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is on purpose. Hold on. I have to do percussive <laughs> maintenance. <laughs> my key is stuck no <laughs> I mean I, I it's I might have it's to time uh, to wrap this up save the game <laughs> is honest. it really it is 45, 45 minutes in minutes. okay well I wanted to go kill that drone ant um, that's part two it will have to be part two because I've got to figure out what's going on with my keyboard <laughs> Um, Dwarf Fortress has forced us to, to escape. Um, we were gonna get into, possibly get into some mess with some bogeymen at night, but we don't have to deal with that right now. So yeah, that was the first episode. Man, that flew given, right by. Give in to starvation. Oh yeah, when you're on the con, it's, uh, yes. You haven't done this in a while. Again, I was driving the boat for the last bits of adventure, or fortress mode. Well, especially um, when you're trying to explain everything. I hope yes. that I did an adequate job for those of you who have not played before. There is some of this that's a little bit intuitive, but a lot of it is not. Uh, and a I've lot of it is just to go fortress step by UI. step as I can. Uh, obviously, because I know it somewhat, I don't want to. I don't want to just assume that I'm, I'm telling you what mm -hmm. I'm doing. So yeah. if I've missed something, please feel free to let us know. And if you obviously there are many of you who know more than me. Help out with some tips in the comments, because we always welcome that. Think anyone will know what happened to your keyboard, but if you do, that would be helpful. Uh, also got to say, for you know, new absolute new timers, the, the user interface gets very much easier over time. It is not as baffling 
as it seems at first glance. C- keep with it a bit, and you'll start doing it automatically very quickly. Yeah, some of it's um, still a little clunky for me, but there was a lot of that where I was like, man, I gotta go so slow because I gotta explain all these things. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not a great teacher, Joe. Uh, let's be real here. You did, you did fine. I'm the kind of teacher that's like, why don't you understand this? I've explained it once. <laughs> Should be good. That's that's a good sales pitch for our other tutorials. Um, <laughs> thanks all for watching. We'll be back next week. Mondays are Dwarf Fortress. With a new keyboard. On the Human Echoes channel. Bye. <sighs> Bye. Next week you get to hear me talk about Ratatosker. I think that's already out. No. I never talked about it. Oh, I must have had a dream that Al was talking about that. What in, in your dream? dream. What, what what did I say about Ratatosker? I don't know. Ratatosker Usually, whenever you start talking, I kind of zone out. <laughs> you remembered that I talked about Ratatosker, but not what you said. <laughs> I remember crossing it off the list. I think it's more concerning that Tony dreams about not paying attention to Al. <laughs> <laughs> it's an odd Inception sort of thing.